higher piece, um, but I give it to, to a lot of higher people who like rock music. Um, we're just going to launch straight into this. Um, our first chord is this big bad boy that we see on our tab. It's 0, 10, 9, 10, 7 on the five thinnest strings. And we're going to do an arpeggio up here. We want to make sure these notes ring out, so keep them going. So. At that point, I've moved my first finger from this 7 to this 7, but my chord here hasn't moved. And I'm going to try that again. So that's the first bar and the first two notes of the next bar. Now I'm just going to strum my chord here and then move my first finger up one fret to 8. Now strum the chord again. Now hit open A string and then strum the chord again. So it's going to go. And then we're going to 9th fret on the A string. Full middle four strings there. That was a nine again, a nine with a bend, and then another nine which is normal, and then eight. The next bar is just another arpeggio all the way up. We do a repeat here. the second time bar that's just 10 9 and then double at the same same two notes at the same time 9 and 10 now the next section is much louder which is um, fortissimo so really really big and loud you'd probably want to stamp on a distortion pedal at this point if you don't have a distortion pedal I usually keep one in my bag just ask for one and um, if you're in my lessons anyway uh, if you want to bring in your own that also could be really cool Make sure it just means you're really used to it. At this point, you stamp on your distortion pedal. We're going to be putting third finger on the fifth fret of the B string. I'm going to be playing five and zero at the same time. Then five and two. And then eventually five and three. And then five and five. Now for me, I'm just doing all down strokes here, uh, so it's 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 5, 0, and then 0, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, and then a big long 5. Now we do that, I think it's three times. That was once, that was twice, that was three times, that was four times, that was five times. So we're going to do that section five times in a row. The first time you do it, it's just you, and then the next four times it's with like the full band in. So it's like band enters, now we're on to page two. Page two starts with the easiest thing I've ever seen in an advanced hire. Uh, uh, piece, so good. Uh, we're going to be pan muting some single notes, just a zero on the A string. Down to two on the thickest string, down to one. Now that one does change near the end, it's one to start with. Last three notes are zero, three, zero. 
Now we're doing some octaves right after that. This is 5 and 7, up to 7 and 9, up to 9 and 11, and then 10th fret and 12th fret. So it's on the dot, on the dot, on the dot, one past the dot. Now these octaves, they should be played using your first finger and your third finger. You should be able to strum all the way through and only hit two notes. That means my first finger is doing a lot of muting. It's muting the thickest string just by touching it. It's muting the D string. And it's muting the, uh, the thinnest two strings, the B and the E. So... Now the next section is our big original chord, 0, 10, 9, 10, 7. For this, um, I genuinely recommend going away and listening to the song and trying to play along with it. The bass notes kind of travel really at odd times. So um, it goes zero to start with. So zero, and then seven, eight. Then another zero on the A string, and then nine, then down to eight. At that point, uh, you do that around just once, and then we're going to do octaves again. That's the exact same two bars that led up into that big chorus. Uh, that's just 5, 7, 9, then 10. So that's dot, 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 one after the dot. Nice way to remember it. Um, what have we got next? Okay, so third page. And um, third page is actually really fun, in my opinion. Um, it's kind of palm muted again, and it kind of feels like a bluesy thing. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about that. Uh, it's a lot of A string palm muting, and then our D string is going to be moving up. It goes 2, 4, 5, 7, 2, 4, 5, 7, 2, 4, 5, 7, 2, 4, 5, 7. I'll show you that slowly to start with. do it again. And we do it a third time. And we do it a fourth time, but there's something slightly different from the fourth time. We take a beat rest right at that point, we don't do the seven. I'll do the fourth time just one more time through so that I can do better at this side reading it. At that point we take that beat rest and now we're going to be going 10, 9, 7, 5. Do that four times. Well, we know we do it exactly the length I just played it, so twice, three times, four times. And now we're going to be going 12, 10, 9, 10. Now, I'm going to cover all of those 
again once we do the one more section. So the last two lines on page three, we're going to be going up to 14, still on our D string. <laughs> Uh, and then we're going to be playing 12, 14 on the G. And then we're going to be doing double 12 on the D. And then we're going to be repeating. So. So it's this little um, box shape. So it's going to go 14 here, 12 here, 14 here, and then 12 down here. Um, and we're going to do that in a loop. So it's 14, 12, 14, 12. You're still playing a lot of open string A's, which you can see in your music. We're going to do that for two whole lines. So it's going to go. And then we're coming down onto our last page, but I'm going to come back to that in a second. I want to run you over the structure of page three first. So, page three.